Hey, how you doing? It's a great day. I'm in the Grand Staircase in Utah. And today, I got a permit to hike Buckskin Gulch. So we're gonna go hike us some slot canyons. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you join me? <laughs> Let's go. So we're in what's called the Buckskin Gulch from the Wire Pass Trailhead. It is, I think, the or one of the very few largest slot canyons in the entire world. So already some of the canyons and the views, holy cow, I can't even believe it. This place is unbelievable. Well, let's go see more. I have, uh, I have officially walked past where I think the most of the people are going to come. It is eerily silent down here, and this is unbelievable. It just keeps going. I mean, I'm losing my mind with all of the photos that I can take. Let's keep going, see what we get. Man, this is so great. Deciding how and what to shoot. Just overwhelming. And I broke, I broke my glasses. That's bad. Growing still. Getting dried out. I'm way far away from people. It is very quiet down here. This is unbelievable. I've probably said that too much. We're gonna walk down. I've been told by the locals that the canyon gets even thinner down there. We're way past where most people want to walk to. Getting well into where, I think the river's down there, but we're not gonna go that far. Let's walk this and see what happens. We're barely getting into here colors are, I can't even believe it. I mean, we're not even in the canyon yet down the slot. And these lines and this color, and it's like my own personal canyon. Isn't God awesome?
All right, well, if you know me, you know it's time for a Snickers break. I'm back in this canyon way back, and I'm completely by myself. There's a fly. I can hear the fly. And I'll tell you, one of the problems that I have when I'm back in these kind of environments like this is I don't know when to stop taking photos. I'm going to share a couple of photos with you um, from this adventure, but the problem is, is you take so many, it just never stops. It just never stops being photogenic. That's the problem. So you narrow it down, that's all you can do. But listen, I'm really glad that you're on this trip with me and that you're taking this adventure. And, um, it's being out in the environment like this. When I see God's paintbrush, I, I'm just completely blown away. These things must be 300 feet tall. They make the Antelope Slot Canyons that I've been in um, just east of here, about 100 miles, seem small. If you ever get a chance to come out to Buckskin Gulch, it's worth the hike, I will say that. Just taking the time to be out here is such an overwhelming feeling of humility and uh, power. Uh, when it rains, the water comes down through here so hard it'd kill you if you were in here. That's what the signs say. Doing these kind of things, it's important. We need to do these things. With the world going to hell all the time and the news beaten to death, all the bad things and the negative, you come out here and you're in the middle of these slots that at some places are only two feet wide, three feet wide. You forget about all that crap. It just doesn't get old. So thanks for coming along. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go back to the trailhead and set up camp for the night. Because tomorrow, I get to hike the wave. That's really great. Hey, thanks for joining me. And again, remember, if you'd like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And most importantly, if you comment in the comment section below. Your comments mean a lot to me. It helps me to know if you have questions or what I could do better. Thanks for joining me. So I guess for now, you know how it goes. This is Rob. And I'm out.